part of a Volvo rescue team. Volvo. We give fair and uh, we want to we like seeing these cars still on the road. Yeah. So we give fair prices for the stuff that we restore. How long has it been sitting? For years probably. The registration on the tag there, Dave, since 2000. 2000? Okay. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank, Thank you so much for your time. And your name? David. I think someone was putting something on top of this roof back that they weren't supposed to. Like someone else I know. Yeah, well, desperate times. Friends of the zoo. All right, Soren, I'm seeing rust. Right through the back. Go oh, and lift that, lift that piece of flooring up. Oh, I see it.
one's looking a lot better. How's it looking under here? Did you say something about an asbestos blanket? No, oh, it's in the back. Rust? For the blanket. This one's got rust. Not as bad though. It's not penetrated? Not penetrated. Where's your rust poker? <laughs> should have that. I can't honestly tell. I can't. Right here it looks like someone tried to pound the inside of it out. That's actually his body right there. Yeah, the damage doesn't hit that junction there. Okay. I'm worried about the rust underneath here. Like the other one. This, that one was eaten completely through and this piece was gone. That one's got shiny hubcaps. Oh, it looks good with the white wall. That one's kind of a rough customer. This one's, I would say, a less rough customer. Not every day I have a choice between two wagons. All right, Soren. I think Otis the shipmobile. There's always a dog involved. Lost the spring. So we have to jack the car up. Other side. Get it back in there. Alright, Dave. We finally got Shelby 2.0. Great thing is that we didn't have to go out of state like we previously thought. Is a, she's a brand, I won't say brand new, but an authentic New Mexico car. No rust, very very little rust because no of that. Rust. Well, there's a little bit, but nothing's penetrated. If you guys want to see regular updates of what we've been doing and uh, pictures, make sure you follow our Instagram. It's at the Volvo Rescue underscore between each word. Unfortunately, we're not keeping the second wagon. That's for one of our patrons, he's uh, buying out a lot of yards that have a lot of Volvo parts in there and rescuing them when we aren't able to. But we're definitely got our hands full. We're gonna have a lot of cars um, in the future years to come as restorations. And lots of exciting things. Lots of crazy things. So the next thing for us is to start parting out Shelby, taking what we need, selling everything else, moving on and getting Shelby 2.0 ready.
compilation of videos called Soren Sweeping. Gotta take the tires off Shelby 1.0. Put them on 2.0 because 2.0, they're all flat and ripped up. It would be easier for us to actually just cut those old tires off rather than just roll around with them ripped up like that. You saw earlier as we were trying to get on the trailer and it kept going sideways. This one's for you. Oh, we're good. So Soren, how much can you deadlift? Half a full hole. You can go. Perfect. Hey, little guy. Oh, I'm so glad you got that. Oh, there's a mouse. Oh, you got a mouse. Yeah. Got a hitchhiker. <laughs> <laughs> 